Viper. Real name, Sabine Callis. Country of origin, USA. Viper is a brilliant scientist coming from the United States. She is the second member of the Valorant Protocol, joining along with Brimstone and is the second in command of the Protocol. While once a brilliant scientist, she no longer thinks clearly, having become hateful and biased in her tests. Her personality reflects this through the passive aggressiveness present in all her interactions and the resentment she feels towards others. Almost every agent, at some point or the other, comments on her hate-driven mind. Despite this, she is able to express appreciation, being willing to congratulate those who have impressed her. Viper's abilities are based on self-made concoctions comprising of toxicants which cause rapid respiratory damage when inhaled. These chemicals, which she manufactures herself, can be released into the air through specialized emitters to create small clouds of the toxic gas. The smoke will eventually dissipate in air if left for long enough, and so the emitter must constantly remain active to retain the smoke's integrity. When referring to her abilities, Viper refers to the poisonous chemicals as toxins. This would technically be a misnomer, as the term toxin refers to harmful biological compounds that can be found in nature and are produced by living organisms. For artificially manufactured products with similar properties, the term toxicant is to be used. Along with Brimstone and Sage, Viper was originally responsible for recruiting new agents. An example of this is given in Viper's voice line commending Breach, saying that she knew hiring him was a good idea, implying her involvement in his recruitment. Viper's most defining characteristic is her obscure backstory. At some point in the past, Viper was a brilliant chemist in a position of esteem due to her great mind. According to her dossier released by Fade, Viper also received a grand list of awards, including the R. Francis Prize and the Denton Outstanding Innovation Award. As per a voice line from Omen, she specialized in medicine and healing of some form. Just think, Sabine, you used to heal with your skill. Funny. However, Viper's life was completely destabilized by an unknown incident. While it is never specified what exactly this was, it is clear that it caused Viper considerable grief. Its effect on her was terrifyingly prominent, driving her mad with hatred and rage, in a quest for vengeance, against whom it is unclear. Viper gave up all remnants of her life. She turned away from healing and devoted herself to poisons and toxins. Viper's backstory is heavily intertwined with omens, before his transformation into a radiant and loss of his human form. Omen was given orders from the Scions of Hourglass to assassinate Viper, who was employed at Kingdom at the time. However, Omen's assassination attempt failed and resulted in Viper's acid burning his face and incapacitating him. Viper then put Omen into a machine that gave him his shadowy form and turned him into a radiant at the cost of losing his physical body and his memories. For some time, she worked under Kingdom as a chemist. She was very successful and, thanks to her great mind, went on to become the first chief scientific officer in Kingdom's board of advisors. While it is unclear for how long she worked at Kingdom and held her position there, we do know that she was an employee of the corporation when they manipulated the citizens of Bind to allow them to build a radianite refinery there. Her current relationship with Kingdom remains unclear, although, as with almost every other agent in the Protocol, she does have a distaste for the Megacorp. Brimstone and Viper are two of the earliest agents to join the Valorant Protocol and may have known each other prior to its formation. They seem to have a good friendship, but Viper still calls him out for his age occasionally. 
For a while, they both knew information that was withheld from the rest of the protocol. But the secrecy largely came to an end after the events of the duality cinematic, where the functioning of the VP was changed in order to better combat the threat posed by Omega Earth. Omen and Viper certainly have intertwined pasts, and have shared a long history of correspondence. Viper calls Omen old friend, and seems genuinely concerned for him. Omen states to Viper that he needs her secrets, implying that Viper knows some precious information about his past that Omen cannot afford to lose. Omen addresses Viper by her first name, being one of the few agents to do so. Viper almost refers to Omen by his name in one voice line, but she catches herself just before she blurts it out. It is unclear whether this is for any personal reasons, or whether it is just following the protocol guidelines of only referring to agents by their call sign. Killjoy and Viper are two of the most science-oriented agents in the protocol, and it shows in their interactions, with them often working closely together. Killjoy continuously mentions the enemy Viper's corrupted mind, expressing her concern about her mental state. She does, however, acknowledge her sheer mental brilliance as well. Viper, in turn, has a somewhat mentor-like attitude towards Killjoy. She occasionally calls Killjoy Little Mouse, for some reasons currently unknown. Viper trusts Cypher's capabilities in gathering information. Cypher acts a little impish towards Viper, but is aware of her furious rage and is cautious not to overstep his bounds. As with most other agents, Sova expresses some disapproval of Viper's methods and concern for her mind. Similar to her relationship with Omen, Viper has certainly crossed paths with Sage before the Protocol was founded. During one of their encounters, it is hinted at that Sage failed Viper in some way, and the repercussions of that failure had massive negative implications on her life. Viper still harbors some dislike towards Sage for that situation, but is willing to acknowledge her skill and usefulness to the team. Reyna and Viper share a mutual respect for their skill and abilities. Using life energy, Reyna harvests from souls. The two work together to keep Lucia, Reyna's sister, alive. However, due to her limited knowledge in the field, Viper cannot efficiently sustain the transfer process. It has been speculated for a long time that Reyna and Viper hate each other in some way. While not officially disproven, this theory is still unlikely, and both women share a largely neutral and respectful relationship. Like most of the other agents in the Protocol, Viper is very suspicious of Chamber. Despite the fact that the Protocol was not able to dig up any information on him, Viper insists on keeping an eye on him, wary of him and his motives. Chamber flirts with Viper from time to time, even asking her out on a date at one point. However, she typically turns down his advances. <laughs>